Hello guys, how are you doing? For those of you who don't know me, my name is CCME of CCME.com. If you have not checked my blog, I don't know what you're waiting for. Check www.ccme.com. Go and check that blog. And today I'm here to share with you guys the most requested video on my channel, the most requested information on my Instagram page. I think on every picture lately, people have been asking CCME, how did you lose weight? Like the transformation, what happened? And so people are like, who did you pay? What did you buy? Who did you use? I'm like, who did I use? Who did I pay? Ha! I mean, this is an important information people want to know. So I'm like, you know what? I have to do a video before Christmas. And why before Christmas? Because I know that Christmas time is not the time to be on any fitness journey. Fitness <laughs> is going to be gone for Christmas. So let me do it while I still maintain some of this slimness and flakiness before I get fat again and try to lose the weight. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys today everything that I did to lose weight. I went from a size 8 to a 16 and now I'm kind of like a size 10 ish 12. If you're interested in seeing how I lost weight, keep watching. In fact, I want to give you 5 seconds to subscribe. 1, 2, have you subscribed? 3, 4, have you subscribed? Good! So now that you are subscribed, let's get into the video. Before I talk about how I lost weight, let me just talk about how I gained that weight. You see, when I got pregnant, one of my biggest fears was that I was going to get fat. And I don't know if it's that I was thinking negatively during my pregnancy, but all the bad things that can happen to you while you're pregnant, not all the bad things, all the symptoms that you read about in textbooks, like bigger nose, um, bigger hands, bigger feet, my belly was huge, I was big and then i think the biggest part of my body were my boobs my boobs were actually the ones that increased so much and you know when you're buying tops you can't buy a top that is a size 10 when you have a size 18 boobs you can't do that so the boobs were massive i don't even understand where it came from all that milk <laughs> where it came from but i went from a size 8 to a size 16 and the annoying thing was in my head I was a size 10 or a size 8 but my body was saying something else so when I would go to the boutique or go somewhere to buy clothes or online man I shot myself in the foot so many times I would go online and I would pick a size 10 dress like my mind could not comprehend that I wasn't a size 10 or I would go to the boutique and be like oh can you give me a dress size 10 and the lady there was one occasion the lady looked at me like she this one is drunk or what I can't even be wearing a size 10 she's like madam I think you're like a size 18 or like a size, I was like, size what 18? I was like, my God, <laughs> look at my life. <laughs> I was so sad. And in that sadness, because I'm a blogger, it's not like I can just go invincible. I can't stop blogging because I'm a little fatter. And some people did not just let me rest. People were sending me emails. Sometimes people were tactful, but sometimes people lacked no tact and their judgment like the mouth so do you know someone even sent me an email was like you have disappointed me you have done this you have done this all because i go fat i'm like can you calm down it's really not that serious i remember when i posted a picture of my birthday was it in 2014 or 2015 of my birthday and um, i i don't know who deceived me or encouraged me to go and do baby shoot i did a shoot and i was looking so choppy when i saw the pictures i was like is this me and i posted it i know even fear i posted these pictures the emails i got after posting that picture do you know people actually said i should take it down but i spoke to a fellow blogger she actually called me not that i spoke to her she called me and she was like i've been seeing the comments people are making about your weight you need to you need to let it go don't let them bother you and that was very encouraging because when a woman goes through pregnancy the things that happen sometimes are uncontrollable and some people send me messages like, I give birth after you and I've lost weight. Me and you, we don't have the same body. Do you understand? Even my younger sister, she's like a leper after she gave birth, like she's skinny. So you don't have the same body even with your sister. So the fact that somebody lost weight before you is like, it's not my business that you can lose weight. Some of us, it's not that easy for us. And then don't just stop judging people because sometimes the way we criticize people harshly, and then add the hormones of pregnancy and of everything oh 
that was a very trying period for me but i was like you know what i'm going to rock this fast to see me this fact is me nothing is wrong with her i will rock her to you people at i had and i will lose weight in my own time which i'm gradually doing so i didn't even want to share a video about my weight loss until i've gone back to a size 8 but i don't want to get to that scenario stage i think size 8 is too skinny for me i will probably stick to a size 10. right now i'm in between a 10 and a 12 so i have had a lot of progress in my weight loss I didn't want to share my secrets but since you people were asking and it was beginning to look like I was the evil shy that didn't want to share uh, success with you people I've decided to do this video so number one how did I lose weight the first thing that helped me lose weight was South Africa seriously I went to South Africa about three times this year and that was how I lost weight not because I traveled but because in South Africa we trekked oh my god we trekked we woke up early in the morning like we had to leave the hotel room like seven or eight because and you have to wake up early to have breakfast and when we come back home we come back late when we go back to the hotel it was late so you were back late night and early mornings i was you know you are tired but you're having fun and you cannot stop like late nights early mornings but we cannot stop because we only have like six days in six days i lost a lot of weight because i was walking so much that was all that made me lose weight i was active and that's the word i'm looking for you need to be active if you're trying to lose weight sitting down in one position is not going to help you at all if you have staircase in your house you better start climbing the staircase start walking to some places not every time entering car we trekked all in the name of tourism i lost weight like that was the, the first time i went for the trip i lost a bit of weight and people were leaving comments and i was like i can see a difference after the second trip like this oh god especially since i knew that walking helped me the first time by the second trip i was so excited i was like huh this holidays for losing weight and i did i walked a lot walked a lot my waist ached and then on the third trip i lost more weight and when i came back i was like hmm. so the secret to losing weight is be active so i did not go to the gym but walking is an exercise and you don't need to go to the gym to to walk like you have free space start trekking my friend start trekking the second thing that helped me lose weight is this watch i'm wearing this is a gift from my friend simi sala <laughs> simi sala gifted me this this fitness watch like what this thing does is that it monitors your footsteps and it does a lot of amazing things actually and i actually have one to give away to you guys today because i really 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 love this i really love it let me tell you how it helped me lose weight because some people are like oh does it reduce your diet or what does it do no this thing when you're obsessed with it you're going to lose weight i told you guys we we're walking in south africa and walking a lot and when i came back i realized that in south africa we were doing over ten thousand steps daily don't worry you're already losing weight we take ten thousand steps daily do you know wow i checked on my whatever yesterday my this thing i use and it showed that we took eleven thousand wow. steps oh, yes, not, not yesterday because i don't have anything in I was clocking over 10,000 steps. This thing measures your steps, your footsteps. So I was obsessed with getting 10,000 daily. We were getting it on some days. I would check and we would get over 15,000 steps daily. Who will not lose weight? You are skinny, pal. So I was like, ah, this thing is good because I was so obsessed. I even got one for Yomi. Yomi has one. So obsessed with it. And this obsession followed me back to Lagos. When I go back to Lagos, I could barely do 2,000 steps daily. I'm like, hey, hey, why would you be fat? You're only doing barely 1,500 steps daily. Meanwhile, in South Africa, you were doing about 15,000. Why won't you be fat? So now I wear it to um, be conscious of um, my footsteps and to, to be conscious, to be active. Sometimes if you are not active, it will buzz you like you've not done enough footsteps today, blah, 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 that kind of thing. So this really, really helped me as an obsession. I'll be giving one away, so make sure you stay till the end to see what you have to do to win one of this. The next step has to do with food. And you guys know how much I love food. Like me and food were like this. And that was the first challenging thing. I was like... Are you saying there are some things I'm not going to eat? But instead of now omitting those things from my meals, what I did is to reduce the quantity I had. But I cut off some things, just a few things. I cut off just fizzy drinks. 
fizzy drinks alone can make you add a lot of weight so i try to reduce my minerals intake i just take water i make it a conscious decision if i go out in public and they offer me drinks i just take water instead and that has really like really really helped me drinking more water and saying no to fizzy drinks i can't cut rice away you want to kill me i eat rice almost every day I can't cut carbs away but i reduce the amount of time i eat bread sharp but rice that one hmm. then i eat more chicken so i started eating more chicken if i find i'm very hungry instead of eating like a big portion of rice and small chicken i eat like a big portion of chicken and then rice roasted chicken not fried chicken so roasted chicken small portion of rice but i did not cut off rice because i cannot come and go and kill myself because i'm trying to lose weight so those were the things i did that helped me lose weight i didn't do anything dramatic i didn't pay anybody to lose weight i didn't go to the gym no it was just a lifestyle change and which is easier but it might be slower because it took me about a year to lose weight my baby is about to be two well he still has like five months before he turns two so i've been on this you know like my journey for like one and a half years so it might take a while but in the end you'll get there there was something that i did consciously a lot of people because when i had my cesarean section my belly was very very like my belly was still like i was like six months pregnant my belly was massive until now the belly is not flat i've never been a flat belly girl but the belly is just a bit bigger than normal right now you think maybe i just chop belly full or just overfeed it make my belly big so right now the belly is just a bit bloated and i consciously did not wear girdles i did not tie my belly i did not wear girdles in the beginning i could not tie my belly but after a while um, the only time I tried girdles, it was like I was going to suffocate and die. And I was like, no, I will wear my fat with pride. Mm -mm. I am not going to kill myself because I'm fat. No way. So I did not wear a girdle. But what that did is anytime I see my belly is big, it encourages me to do something about it. I felt like if I was wearing a girdle, it's like deception. I don't want to deceive myself. No, let me rock the big belly. And it was a constant reminder daily that I had to do something about my weight. And the thing about weight is this weight gain. If it's up to you. Don't let anybody tell you to be fat. Don't let anybody tell you to be slim. Do it in your own time. It's better when you work on yourself in your own time. You're not trying to please anybody. Right now, I'm not even trying to please anybody with my weight. I'm trying to please myself. When I get to the stage where I'm happy, I will stop. If I don't like it, I will continue. It doesn't like nobody has an influence on how I treat my body. So if I like to be a sexy or robust size 12, I will remain that way that's one thing you have to keep in your mind because people's opinion will always mess with you and it will make you sad and depressed and it will make you fat because you go and be sitting down in the corner darling feeling sad and those things have a way of making you gain weight so no 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 your body is for yourself treat it like the way you want it to be so that's it so there's no magic no juro no buying something nothing nothing that's all i did to lose weight i still have things that i'll share with you guys especially on the tummy part how i reduce the tummy because the tummy is another different ball game sometimes when you're losing weight it doesn't like the tummy is a separate thing on its own so i'm going to do another video telling you about how i did my tummy part but for now this is just how i lost weight generally i have one of these to give away for you guys and it's a Bluetooth smart bracelet. So this is what it looks like. This one is actually in my favorite color, yellow. Well, pink is also my favorite color, but you know, yellow is part of this. And I'm going to be giving one to one of you, one of my subscribers, one of my followers on Instagram, or one of my followers on my blog. Let me tell you what this thing does. It measures your heart rate. When you're receiving incoming calls, your phone can be in your pocket or somewhere else and you will get a notification of calls or messages but it's not like you're being called from the smart watch. No, you can't do that. You can sleep with it. It measures how much sleep you get and I think that is fantastic. Sometimes I barely get six hours of sleep in a day and this smart band measures it. It can also tell you how much calories you burned and it has a camera. It's like this 
wristband is awesome and that's why i wanted to give one away because i don't like sometimes i don't like to do videos where i talk about things that i like and i'm not giving away something so i like to talk about what i like and i like to give it away so that at least one person will experience it with me so all you need to do to win this smart band is actually make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you're following me on instagram leave a comment on this video telling me that you want to win or if you have any other sweet words to share with me share it with me <laughs> and i'm going to be partial to people that tell me sweet things okay <laughs> but anyways also this thing was a gift from my friends my friends to me she is so sweet she dashed me this one she dashed me this other one and i'm like this girl you're just so, she's one of the sweetest friends i have so i think it would be nice if you guys follow her on her instagram and page too and that is alio cb signatures to see all the awesome things she does she's just such a sweetheart so you guys do that and that's all you need to do to win this giveaway I cannot ship internationally because it is an expensive something and you guys know the way the things are in the country right now so this is only restricted to people in nigeria one day in the future i will start shipping internationally so pray for that time to come but don't forget to enter for this giveaway if you want to win one of these smart bands i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i have answered all your questions but the truth is if you have more questions any question at all Leave it in the comment section, send me an email, leave it on my Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, let's chat more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!